concrete in concrete. The spurred armchair is made from the same material as its environment, but is somehow quite different. This table is also made of concrete. It's called fruit. And this is Palsberg. The young designers from Dresden have known each other since school and are fascinated with concrete. Concrete is an unbelievably versatile material, which is actually more than 2,000 years old. It offers endless new variations. There are always great things you can do with it, and it's just totally malleable. Concrete lost its bad reputation a long time ago. These days, it's a popular material in modern design. But as varied as the design is, one thing hasn't changed. Concrete furniture is mostly chunky and heavy. Palsberg could take the trend in a new direction. Their furniture is more delicate and it's also much lighter. Most of the customers first ask whether it's really concrete. They just can't imagine that it is. Some of them think it's plastic, others metal. That's because we work with such delicate and organic forms, which wasn't possible before in concrete. The secret of Palsberg's furniture is this new composite. The carbon textile developed by the Technical University of Dresden serves to stabilize the concrete. That offers advantages over the classic alternative, steel. You can see the advantage over steel with this little sample here. You can see quite clearly how the carbon is placed in the middle of the concrete matrix. Steel rusts. And to prevent it rusting, you have to stop air getting to the steel. Air and water. That's why you always have to have a three to four centimeters thick layer. And when you scale that up, you've got at least eight to nine centimeters of material in the end. With us it's different. Carbon doesn't rust. Nothing can happen to it. So we only need a minimum of two millimeters of covering. Palsberg has the exclusive rights for making furniture with the new composite for two years. It's all handmade, almost like baking a cake. First, the mold for the furniture has to be made. Then the concrete, a mixture of cement, aggregate and water, is applied thinly. After that comes the carbon textile and a further layer of concrete. The furniture then has to dry out for three days. The finished table by Palsberg will cost 2,400 euros. If you tell people, potential customers, that it's handmade, and when they understand how the furniture is created, as well as the individual character of each piece, which is not possible with industrial production, well, when they understand that, the price actually becomes immaterial. The Palsberg company's innovative designs could soon be at home in living rooms the world over.